Hi, in this first video homework, we're going to talk about Schoology. We're going to talk about what a flipped classroom is. We're going to talk about how your notebook needs to be organized. And at the end, you're going to copy out and sign the commitment form, the commitment to do well in science. A flipped classroom uses videos and online resources to give a little bit of content, background knowledge that the students need before they come to class. It takes the place of a lot of the lecturing in class. The video notes cover vocabulary, cover simple instructions, so that when we come to class, we can get to work on the stuff. And kids aren't going home work with, aren't going home with complex homework that they don't understand. That understanding gets built in class. That's what a flipped classroom is. And when, it's done, when it works well, it is beautiful. I have used Schoology now for, this is my third year using Schoology. Uh, when you open up, when you log in, you get a screen that looks like this. This is your home screen. Now at the top, you'll see messages from me. You'll see messages that students have posted, questions, that sort of thing. But the important bit for now is over here on the right-hand side where it says Upcoming. Each assignment there that is coming due is listed under its due date. So there's two ways to get to these assignments that are due. You can either click on the upcoming assignment and it will take you to the page of that homework with instructions and links. Or you can come up here to Courses, Science 8 or Integrated, same thing, and you're going to get a list of all of the documents, all of the videos, all of the links that we've used in class for the unit. But over here to the side are still the upcoming things. So if you can't find what is due tomorrow in the list, it's over there. But if you need to find something that's old, you're going to have to scroll through this list until you find the right thing. This is great for makeup assignments. This is great for late assignments or absence assignments. And it's a really powerful tool for parents to be able to make sure they know what's happening in class. The due dates are right there. All of the past things with past due dates are going to be there as well. Next, we're going to talk about notebook organization. And your student is going to need, you are going to need for class, a dedicated one, one and a half inch, three ring binder. It needs to be just for science because I collect these and look for completion grades in these. So it should have your name on the top of it. And I always have, this is the front of the room, I always have my class binders at the front of the room. And so your student, you can come up and check your organization at any time. The first thing in your binder when you open it up, your two-minute bell ringer needs to be on the side, in the side pocket. We pull this out every day. Next, you should have the rules and expectations, expectations and procedures in there. The commitment to, to science class we're going to come back to. That's going to be your next page. And then after that, as we add things. You're going to need dividers for this class. I use cardstock because the dividers are just used to divide units. When we finish a new unit, we'll put a divider in and start the next unit. At the end of each unit, I collect these binders for a grade. Well, I collect these binders and I look for completion grades. So, for example, tomorrow when you come to class, you're going to have this commitment to science class written out on notebook paper, signed by you and a parent, and while you're working on that three minute, that two minute bell ringer, I'm going to come around and give you a science is cool completion stamp. This is your grade. You've just earned 10 points if it's done at the beginning of the period when it's supposed to be. You have to keep this in the notebook until the end of the first unit when I collect it. Then I go through and I record all those stamps. If you are not organized, this is going to be difficult for you. Late papers that are not ready to be stamped right at the beginning earn a 60% stamp. So right now I'm going to get bigger in on this commitment to science class. You're going to copy this out on notebook paper, sign it, bring it tomorrow. You walk into class, you open your binder, pull out your two-minute bell ringer, 
open your binder to this page, I walk around and stamp. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.